who are the ones that will actually go to heaven? I see people everywhere claiming they know the way, that they're heaven bound, but how can they be so sure? Some say it's enough just to be a good person, to do good deeds. But then, I'd heard others say that no matter how good you try to be, if you don't believe in Jesus, you're lost. It's all so confusing. I see people who seem so sure of themselves, living life without a care, convinced they're headed for paradise. But what if they're wrong? What if I'm wrong? How do I know who's right? The Bible says not everyone who says Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do the will of the Father. But what exactly is God's will? Is it just about following rules, going to church, or something deeper? I don't want to get it wrong. What if I'm not doing enough, or believing the right things? Some people seem so confident, but I don't feel that way at all. Can anyone really be sure? Maybe it's not about being perfect, but about being sincere. About genuinely seeking God, trusting Him, and letting that guide my actions. But still, what if that's not enough? What if I'm missing something? Anthony. Who are you? What are we doing here? I am here to provide answers to your questions. The candidates of heaven. Look at these people. You look so pretty. I can't wait to have you. I have met so many ladies, but you are the prettiest of them all. You look so good as well. I have met and have relationships with hundreds of men. I think you are different. I will treat you right. Anything you want. Hold on. Are you married? Of course. I am married with two kids. That doesn't stop me from enjoying my life. Do you mind? No, I don't. I am married with three kids myself. Let's go to my hotel room then. We'll start from there. Don't forget the money you promised me. Of course. I am high. I am a murderer. I kill for a living. I am drunk. Drinking is my hobby. Guy, you can't be as drunk as I am. I am happy we were able to defraud those people. We swindled them big time. <laughs> we are the real scammers. We will scam them all of their money. Steal all. Guy, you need to compose yourself. That politician is outside waiting for you. I think he wants us to execute someone. Go and see him. Oh my! What is your request? I will execute it immediately. You know my opponent. He wants to destroy my political career. You know people loves him more and they've promised to vote for him instead. I want him dead so that I won't have any other strong opponent. Kill him, just like you killed others. I learned he also kept a huge amount of money in a vault in his home. I want you to steal all and bring them to me. This is what I do. I kill, steal and scam for a living. I'll do your job as you want. Just ensure that you pay us our money. I'll definitely pay you. Be rest assured. Just do the job. Almighty Zarath, Lord of the Shadows, hear your devoted servant. I bow before your great and terrible power, you who rule over the hidden realms, who grants strength to those who seek it in the darkness. Zarath, the Unseen, the Whisperer in the Night, I thank you. It is by your will that I have become a great witch, a sorceress feared by all. Your power flows through me, making me a vessel of your dark might able to bend reality and twist the minds of the weak. O oh, Zarath, you have made me a magician of unparalleled skill, a woman of great influence in this world. Through your favor, I have sown chaos, caused despair, and brought ruin upon those who oppose me. I revel in the destruction I leave in my wake, knowing that it pleases you. For every curse that has taken root, for every spell that has shattered lives, I give you thanks, Zarath. You have granted me the power to fulfill my darkest desires, to manipulate, to dominate, to destroy. 
I am your loyal servant, your chosen one, and I will continue to spread your influence in this world, for as long as you bless me with your power. Zarath, great and mighty one, I am yours. My soul, my heart, my power, all belong to you. Guide me in the paths of darkness, that I may continue to do your will and grow ever stronger in your service. Praise be to Zarath, the dark god of witchcraft and magic. How dare you? How dare you took what belonged to me? Ophelia, I didn't take what belonged to you. What are you talking about? I am talking about the promotion. I got you this job in the first place, and you've been taking everything that used to be mine in this company. You slapped me because I got promoted? That's not nice. You shouldn't get angry over that. How dare you tell me how to behave? Who are you? You know I get angry easily, you shouldn't have offended me at all. I will show you the stuff I am made of today. I'll make you inconvenient in this company. At this point, I'll just excuse you. I am so mad at this girl. How can she be more successful than I am? How can she get that promotion? How can she be loved by everyone? Every part of me hates her right now. I know what I'll do. I'll lie against her so that she gets sacked. That's what I'll do. I am good at fabricating lies. Collins. Chris. I find you so attractive. Do you feel the same way too? Of course, Chris. I've been wanting to talk to you about my feelings. I want us to be in a romantic relationship and do so many things together. That's the same way I feel, Collins. We will promise ourselves to be together and never leave each other. I agree with you, Chris. Whitney, I don't expect you to be living this kind of life. You get yourself involved in all manner of sins. The painful thing is that, you go to church, listen to sermon, partake in all forms of church activities, you are even a chorister. And, you still come back to be flirting with men, lying, gossiping and all sorts. Why are you a lukewarm Christian? You are not sincere in your service to God. Mom, there are so many people in church who are guilty. I need to enjoy my life. I'm too young to be a devoted Christian. The plan is to a full-time Christian when I am getting old. That's when I need Christ. And you know that God will always forgive me my sins anytime I ask for forgiveness. So, when death is near, I'll simply call on God for forgiveness and I'll be in heaven. Mom, you know I know so much about the word of God, but for now. I need to enjoy. Worry not mother. Whitney, you are a lukewarm Christian and a believer. If you truly believe in God and love him, you won't be saying this. Not everyone is given the grace. Tomorrow may be too late. God won't be happy with you. The Holy Spirit is usually far away from people like you that knows what God wants and you are not obedient. The Holy Spirit can go to anywhere it pleases. I do not need any Holy Spirit. Where is God when I was struggling to make ends meet? I don't need God or the Holy Spirit now. They are not there to help me when I needed them. These men you talked to about provide for my needs. Your Holy Spirit and God can go because I don't need them. They have never done anything good to me. Mom, I don't want to have this conversation again. Whitney, don't commit the sin of blasphemy against God and Holy Spirit. You are so rude and uncouth. Stop this bad behavior. Anthony, these set of people I've just shown you are candidates of Kingdom of Hell. The path to heaven is narrow, and not all who walk in sin will enter the Kingdom of God. You have seen examples of those who commit fornication, who engage in immoral acts with others outside the bonds of marriage, and they are deceived if they think they can continue in such ways and still be candidates of heaven. Murderers those who take life without remorse, 
swindlers who deceive others for gain, thieves who steal what is not theirs, and those who bow to idols and practice witchcraft like the woman you saw, these are also far from the kingdom. Their hearts are filled with darkness, and they do not walk in the light of Christ. And those who indulge in unnatural affections, men making advances toward other men, turning away from the natural order created by God, they too have strayed from the path of righteousness. Those who are quick to anger, who harbor envy, jealousy, lies, and hatred in their hearts, they are corrupted within and cannot enter heaven with such burdens. There are those who claim to know God, who have heard the truth and yet continue to disobey. They hear God's words but choose not to follow, committing blasphemy against the very spirit who seeks to guide them into truth. They are rebellious and stiff-necked, and unless they repent, they too will be shut out of the kingdom. Anyone who lives in these sins, who does not repent and turn away from such evil, cannot be a candidate for heaven. See another set of people. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a humble heart, asking for your grace and mercy. Please forgive me, Lord, for any sins I have committed, whether in thought, word, or deed. I know I fall short of your glory, but I trust in your love and forgiveness. Lord, help me to live a better life, one that honors you in every way. Guide my steps and strengthen my resolve to follow your will. Fill me with your Holy Spirit so that I may grow in wisdom, kindness, and faithfulness. I also lift up to you those who are in pain, struggling, or lost. Comfort them, Father, and bring healing to their hearts and bodies. May they feel your presence and know that you are with them in their darkest moments. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love and for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. Young lady, how may I be of help? Sir, I am unable to pay my school fees. I won't be allowed to write my exams if I don't pay. My mom is very sick as well. Please, help us sir. Although, I don't have much on me. But, I know God will surprise me. I'll pay your school fees and also give you some amount of money for your mother's health. She will be fine. By the way, are you a Christian? Not really sir. I've heard people around me speak about Jesus. But I don't know much about him. Will he help us from this difficult life we are living? Yes. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. He is the one capable of making you smile without collecting anything from you in return. He has instructed us to ask, and it shall be given unto us. If you knew him, you won't even come to me because he's readily available for those who are available for him. Wow, how do I make myself available for him? Just by giving your life to him. Confess him as your personal Lord and Savior. Do not sin. If you are ready to follow Christ, I am ready to lead you to him. You just have to make up your mind. My mind is made up, sir. I want to follow Christ. Hallelujah. Ophelia, you are my helper. I can't backstab you. I want us to be at peace with each other. I heard all you said just now. But, I don't want us to be at loggerhead against each other. I want us to be at peace. I have prayed for you and myself, for God's peace to dwell between us. I also pray that God's goodness will follow you and very soon, you shall be blessed with your own promotion. Trust me, you will be promoted very soon. I know your intention to me, but the thought of God for me are of good and not evil, therefore, no other intentions can prevail over God's intentions. Let us be good. Can I get a hug from you? It's been a while. 
Why did you resign from the company just like that? You know that you were supposed to be promoted, and you resigned all of a sudden? All is well. I resigned because that's what God instructed me to do. I am now doing what God wants me to do. You know that whatever it is that you are doing cannot be compared to what you'll be earning if you didn't resign. God's will is the best. Although, the company is ready to pay me more, I'll be obedient to God first. I'll take my leave now. Enjoy the rest of the day. Anthony, the word of God gives us insight into those who will inherit the kingdom of heaven. The believers, those who hold fast to their faith in Christ, will be among them. Those who preach the gospel without shame, bringing the good news of salvation to others, will also find their place in heaven. The peacemakers, who sow peace and unity, are blessed, as it is written, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Matthew 5, 9 Those who are obedient to God's commandments will be rewarded, as it is written in John 14, 15. If you love me, keep my commands. Obedience is the fruit of a heart that loves God. It is not perfection that God requires, but a heart fully committed to Him, walking in repentance, faith, and obedience. Take these words to heart, for they are the key to understanding who will enter into the joy of the Lord. Live in faith, preach the gospel, make peace, obey His commandments and remain faithful, for in these things, you will find your assurance. Most importantly Anthony, this set of people will be warmly welcomed into the kingdom of God. Look at them. Grace, I have sinned against God, my husband and kids. Your words pierced into my heart, and I realize that adulterous way of life is a great sin. I regret ever doing this. If not for the word of God you've spoken to me today, I won't have realized how lost I am. Grace, I am ready to accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I am ready to confess my sins to my husband, I hope he forgives me. But above all, will God forgive me? My dear sister, I'm so glad you've chosen to turn away from the sin of adultery and seek God's forgiveness. Remember, His mercy is new every morning, and He is faithful to forgive those who truly repent. Now that you've made this decision, lean on God's strength to resist temptation and stay true to your commitment. Surround yourself with His Word, stay in prayer, and guard your heart and mind against anything that might lead you astray again. Seek to rebuild trust in your marriage and let God's love guide you as you walk this new path. You are forgiven and by His grace, you can move forward and live a life that honors Him. Yes, it is true that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But understand this, the candidates of heaven are not those who are perfect in their own strength, but those who are covered by grace, redeemed by the blood of Jesus, they are the ones who have humbled themselves, repented, and placed their trust fully in Christ. They seek to live according to God's will, not by their own power, but by the Spirit that dwells within them. They are those who, despite their imperfections, are made righteous through faith and remain steadfast in their pursuit of God's heart. These are the ones who will inherit the kingdom of heaven. I hope I have answered your questions. Anthony, look at yourself now, are you a candidate of the kingdom of heaven? Are you a candidate of Hellfire? Oh. 
My goodness. Is this how vision is? I'm a lukewarm Christian. I need to change. Ah. Thank you Holy Spirit for this revelation. I am a candidate of heaven in Jesus' name. Revelation 21, 8 says, But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. 1 Corinthians 6, 9-10 says, Or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians 5.19-21 says, The acts of the flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God.